China spent 1.5 billion to build a sky bridge between valleys in Guizhou and won three international awards. What kind of bridge did China build? Let's take a closer look in this video. The land is no more than three feet flat is a portrayal of traffic in southwest China's Guizhou province since ancient times. Mountains, thousands of gullies in this vast karst land arbitrary. Bridge to the sky. There is no three feet flat is a portrayal of transportation in Guizhou province located in southwest China since ancient times. High mountains, thousands of ravines, and ravines are freely criss-crossing this vast karst land. For thousands of years, opening roads in the mountains and building bridges in the water have become the relentless pursuit of Guizhou people who have dreamed of mountains and actively open the mountain gate to embrace the world. Today, Guizhou, with its tens of thousands of bridges, has made many places turn the natural moat into a thoroughfare. At present, Guizhou has built more than 200,000 kilometers of roads, more than 8,000 kilometers of expressways, and nearly 30,000 bridges that have been built or are under construction. Among them, nearly half of the world's top 100 tall bridges are in Guizhou, covering almost all bridge types, and it is a veritable bridge museum. In order to improve the traffic environment in southwest China, China's infrastructure began to go deep into the local area, and a bridge to the sky was built between the green mountains and valleys. How difficult is the Pingtang Mega Bridge built in China? After the completion of the bridge, it also won the highest award of the International Bridge Conference. So what is the difference? Known as the Bridge of the Sky, the Pingtang Mega Bridge is the tallest bridge in the world due to its tall stature. It is understood that the Pingtang Mega Bridge spans both sides of the Tsaudu River Canyon, and the main tower is 332 meters high. It is currently the world's tallest three towers cable stayed bridge. The bridge was officially opened to traffic at the end of 2019, marking the opening of the horizontal artery connecting Guizhou to the south. Have you ever heard of a bridge where the towers are built first? The Pingtang Mega Bridge is such a special existence. The bridge is located at K32 to K35 kilometers from Pingtang to Luodian section of Yuching to Anlong Expressway in Guizhou province. It straddles the Tsaudu River Canyon and is a control project of Pingluo Expressway in Guizhou. The bridge is three towers cable stayed bridge with the largest span in mountainous areas in China. The bridge body adopts a beautifully shaped space diamond shaped cable tower, which has the reputation of the bridge in the sky. The cable tower of the bridge is a hollow thin walled structure of reinforced concrete. The Pingtang side tower is 320 meters high, the Luodian side tower is 298 meters high, and the middle tower is 332 meters high, which is equivalent to a 110 stories building and is the tallest reinforced concrete bridge tower in the world. Such a high support bridge is distributed among the canyons according to the mountain, blending into nature. Such a height also reflects the difficulty of bridge construction. In the deep mountains and deep valleys, how did such a tall tower rise from the ground? On the whole, the three main towers of the Pingtang Mega Bridge adopt completely different design concepts in appearance. This is because the high altitude environment of the mountain where the Pingtang Mega Bridge is located has low temperature and high humidity which tests the durability where resistance and frost resistance of concrete materials more than building bridges on flat ground. As a result, the three main towers use specially customized water permeable formwork, resulting in a very different tower appearance. According to informed sources, 
the construction team chose to use high-altitude pouring to complete the main construction of the bridge tower. During the construction of the bridge, the self-developed new bridge deck crane was used. In the narrow construction site, the builders completed the longitudinal movement and swivel suspension of the entire steel beam segment. This craft technology has also completed its first appearance in the history of world bridge construction. Because high-altitude pouring has high requirements for concrete, high-quality river sand is generally used. However, the local river sand resources in Guizhou are poor, and the sand suitable for the construction of the Pingtang Mega Bridge was selected after various dispatches. During the construction period, the Pingtang Mega Bridge faced problems such as the difficulty of installing the steel bars of the main tower, the complex cross-section of the hyperboloid tower body, and the difficulty of pumping concrete over 320 meters. The construction team needs to continuously use secondary pumping to transport concrete to the 300 meters high aerial work platform. And because of the special karst landforms around it, the construction site was surrounded by clouds and fog all the year round, which further increased the difficulty of the operation. When building this bridge, workers have to work at a height of more than 200 meters, as if they are stepping on clouds. In order to improve construction efficiency, the builders adopted an innovative construction method of breaking the hole into parts, assembling the entire bridge like building blocks. It reduces the personnel input by one-third and improves the construction efficiency by 20% while greatly ensuring the safety of workers. On both sides of the bridge, the road leads from east to west. In order to help Guizhou get rid of poverty as soon as possible, China has injected a total of 1.5 billion yuan into the project regardless of cost. At the end of 2019, after the Pingtang Mega Bridge was completed and open to traffic, the driving time from Pingtang to Luodian was shortened from two and a half hours to one hour. Today, following the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, this bridge has also won the Gustav Linesol Award of the International Bridge Conference, the FIDIC Engineering Project Award of the International Federation of Consulting Engineers and the International Association of Bridge and Structural Engineering in China. Outstanding Infrastructure Award, three awards. Now, the Pingtang Mega Bridge is standing among the mountains with its head held high, providing strong support for local people to get out of the mountains and for local economic and social development. The beauty of the Pingtang Mega Bridge is also the beauty of engineering construction. Guizhou has beautiful mountains and clear waters and rich ethnic customs. The designers of the bridge also fully considered the harmony and unity of the bridge type, shape, and color with the natural environment of the canyon where it is located. Pingtang Mega Bridge integrates the unique costumes and dances of the local Bai and Miao ethnic groups. Its towers, beams, and cables combine with each other to form a bridge with a light overall shape. The bridge tower looks like a graceful minority girl, which can be called a model of strength and beauty. The Sky Bridge Sightseeing Service Area, which is operated with Pingtang Mega Bridge, is a demonstration point of bridge and travel integration in a powerful transportation country and the first bridge and travel integration service area in Guizhou. It is also the best viewing place of Pingtang Great Bridge and the place where internet celebrities punch their cards. After the completion of the Pingtang Mega Bridge, it won the crown of the world's tallest bridge in one fell swoop. Now, the bridge itself has become a famous local scenic spot in Guizhou, further promoting the development of local tourism economy. Although Guizhou province is still the poorest and backward province in China, 
it is believed that as more and more infrastructure projects are implemented in Guizhou, Guizhou's economic prospects will take on a new look in the near future. In fact, China's efforts to build bridges and pave roads in mountainous provinces like Guizhou are fundamentally aimed at improving people's livelihood and promoting regional economic and social development. Today, these bridge construction and other technologies independently developed by China Communications are also constantly going out, helping more countries to change transportation and benefit people's livelihood. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.